Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, my past is my past. For he has rescued us from the damnation of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. Galatians 1 verse 13. God will give you a miracle. He will do it powerfully and publicly. Many will say, is this the same woman that was bent over and wounded in the church? Perhaps some will think, is this the same man who had one foot in the church and the other in an affair? Many of the people who were part of Jesus' earthly ministry were people with, how you would say, a colorful past. Some had indeed always looked for the Messiah to come. Others were involved in things that were immoral and inappropriate. A good example is Matthew. He was a man who worked in an extremely distasteful profession. He was a tax collector. Few people like tax collectors still to this day. The reputation was even worse in that time in history. Matthew collected tax for the Roman Empire. He had to have been considered a traitor by those who were faithful Jews. How could he forsake his heritage and join with the Romans? Tax collectors did more than just simply collect tax for the benefit of the government. They were frequently a little bit better than common extortioners. They had to collect a certain amount for Rome, but anything that they could collect above that set figure was considered the tax collector's commission. Therefore, they would frequently claim excessive tax. Often they would act like common thieves. Regardless of his past, Jesus called Matthew to be a disciple. Later, he served as a great apostle and wrote one of the books of the New Testament. Much of the history and greatness of Jesus would be lost to us were it not for Jesus calling Matthew a man with a past. We must maintain a strong line of demarcation between a person's past and their present. These were the people Jesus wanted to reach. He was criticized for being around questionable characters. Everywhere he went, the oppressed and rejected followed him. They knew that he offered mercy and forgiveness. A quote of the day, we must maintain a strong line of demarcation between a person's past and their present. As you go today, know that there are those of us who are past was years ago, but the reality is there are those of us who are past was just yesterday. But walk today with the assurance knowing that every step you take you're stepping closer to your future. God bless you in Jesus' name.